Mount Monganwi, also known as Mao, is an extinct volcanic cone standing 232 meter above sea level at the end of a peninsula in the Bay of Plenty region of New Zealand's North Island. In fact, this town itself is known as Mount Monganwi. It is one of the major suburbs of Toranga, and is located 6 kilometers from Toranga City. And this is Mount Monganwi's main beach. This pristine stretch of white sand and clear waters has been consistently crowned as the best beach in New Zealand by TripAdvisor. And also, it is ranked among the top 25 best beaches in the world. There are two main walking tracks here on Mount Monganwi. A base track and a summit track. The base track is 3.4 km long and it loops around the base of the mountain. This easy walk takes about 45 minutes to 1 hour to complete, and is suitable for all fitness levels. Summit track, which leads to the top of the mountain, is not an easy walk. This hike will require a reasonably good level of fitness and mobility to climb to the top. People visiting the Bay of Plenty from all over the world find the summit walk as being at the top of their list of things to do because of the sunning view from the summit of Mount Monganwi. I have already started the summit walk, and this initial stage itself is not very easy. This is an interesting view. A flock of sheep, and they look more like from a farm. Maybe we can call them Monganwi sheep, or Mount sheep. Anyway, let us continue our walk. There are mainly two tracks that lead us to the summit. Oruahine track and Waikoriri track. For this summit walk, we can use either of the two tracks. Waikori Re track is 1.2 km long and the shorter one, but it is very steep with a lot of steps. And it takes roughly 35 to 45 minutes to reach the summit. The second Oruahin track is less steep, but it is 1.7 km long and takes an extra 10 or 15 more minutes to reach the top. I have chosen the less steep Oruahin track to climb up, and decided to use the other track for climbing down. Mawuawo or the Mount Monganwi is of great cultural and historical significance to the local Maori people. This mountain is considered a sacred site, and it is an important symbol for the tribes of the region. 
Even though it is a popular tourist destination, there is no rest room located anywhere on this mountain because of its immense cultural and spiritual importance. Since Mount Monganwi is located at the end of a peninsula, upon reaching the summit of the mount, our scenic view will differ depending on which direction we choose to look from. The view is panoramic and lets us see for miles in any direction. At last, we reached a flat surface. But it is not the top of the Mawawo. The summit is still away. Since we are still not at the top of the mountain, we can call this plain area as level 1. From this level, we can have the view of some of the local islands that sit off the coast in the Pacific Ocean. These islands we are able to see from here are Leisure Island, Matakana Island, Mayor Island, Motuota Island, and Motiti Island. We are continuing our walk and now we have reached another beautiful area, maybe we can call it as level 2. View from this level is different. That is Mount Monganwi's main beach, and the Monganwi town down there. Let us continue our walk. Here is another view of Mount Monganwi Beach and the coastline towards Papamoa, which is the largest residential suburb in Toranga. Finally, we have reached the summit of Mawuawo or Mount Monganwi.
I think it's because there's still land over here. And the distance is making it look. That's actually a cool island, though, that one over there. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. To climb down the mountain, I have chosen the Waikori Re track. While going back on Waikori Re track, we can see this short diverted walkway, which leads us to a lookout point from where we can see the Toranga port and beyond. <laughs> 